Grace Palmer, reading uh, 1971. Now, uh, Grace, for those of you that don't know, uh, is the uh, curator and curator of Novel Nights here in Bristol. Uh, it's a lovely and inspiring night for writers and readers held at the Square Club in Clifton. Um, and do go to that, it runs every month. Um, Grace runs uh, creative writing courses uh, and workshops, uh, and she's taking Novel Nights to, uh, to Bath uh, very shortly in uh, the great venue that's uh, the Burnell's Yard, and we've, uh, we've taken talking tales there before. Um, but uh, Grace knows about Bath because she's just spent uh, uh, the last year there uh, doing an MA in creative writing from Bath by University and graduated just last week. So please welcome with props and with 1971, please welcome Grace Palmer. Nineteen seventy one. In your house, the garden told the time. Blackbirds stuttered, and puddings came with custard. Locked doors and whispers in our house. You wandered into my bedroom in a crooked nighty, wiping your hands. Someone's mother channeled someone's daughter. The granny confessed to the granddaughter, and nights were days. I put you to bed. In the home, a silk eiderdown of lost roses became country lanes. Your fingers roamed and picked at the stitching. Blue-veined hands worried themselves. Your father had sent you cycling around the village to, the, to deliver the groceries. Outside the shop you pedalled slow, letting the wind take your ribbons. The outlying farms first, wrestling the bright to your ground, taking care to protect the wicker, unloading a wheel of cheese and a flower pot loaf. Wrapped in greaseproof it was, the cheese. You folded a good parcel. When a horse and trap trotted past, snorting and flinging up mud, you hauled your sit-up and beg into the ditch. You didn't mind. You had your apron and the freedom of the pedals. Much better than a back parlour under stepmother's feet. You refused to call her that. She would always and only ever be Aunt Sarah. She wrapped the spoon on your knuckles, cursed you for wooden pastry, spat out your apple pie. A quiet wedding after. An aunt cannot be a stepmother. A mother cannot be stepped over. At the mahogany counter, you added salt, coffee, or sugar onto the oval dish, balanced brass weights to bouncing scales. Two ounces, three ounces, four. The red line was steady, or you cheat the firm. There with father, helping in the shop like a sensible girl, remembering the good times with mother ill upstairs in bed. Standing smart as the bell jangled, the daughter of a father who owned the best process in the village. Half a hundredweight of flour sacks pulled lifted by the pulley, butter blocks on a settle and tea on the caddy. At night, father wrote in a pink lined ledger, dipped his fountain pen, recorded the pounds, shillings and halfpennies, one line for each transaction. Get out of my way, girl, if you can't do any good, Aunt Sarah said, as you made apple pie, blood spouting from your finger where the knife bit. Is it time to get up? You ask, staring at the stars, as tense as a hunting cat. Your eyes are milky with cataracts. I found her, swinging. We both look at the hook on the back of the door and we wait for someone to come. <laughs> 